In this upgrade to Adagio Order Entry 9.3a, there are an impressive number of significant changes and feature improvements, especially in transaction entry. Some key changes will be described here. For a more complete and detailed demonstration of the updates to entering orders, follow this link to the 9.3a Order Updates video. On current and historical document list grids, multiple record selection is now available for the purpose of printing forms or deleting records, or a new feature to complete and cancel orders with items remaining on back order. Grids can now be sorted by date, in addition to by document number or customer, either from the right-click menu or by default in the company profile. The Find button now supports searching by the Reference field if you want to locate a document for a given purchase order number or other reference value. And editing an existing order will check if the Customer Master has changed since the last time the order was saved, and offer to update address or other relevant information like salesperson or pricing levels. All document numbers have now been expanded to a maximum of 12 characters instead of 8. The expected ship date is now calculated as a number of days after the order date, with a company profile setting for the expected ship date spread. RMA documents also use this setting for the expected return date. Ship via selections are now unlimited, rather than a previous maximum of 10. The reference field has been expanded from the previous 12 character maximum to a new 24 character length to allow for more information and can now be edited on posted invoices and credit notes. On the Bill to Ship to tab, billing and shipping addresses now support the standard formatted address layout with new spec codes and import fields. Order notes can now be stored on the same tab as optional fields, in the same way as other notes in Adagio. And order log details specific to this order can be viewed on another new tab in grid format. And Adagio programs at version 9.3a will reveal these buttons when a new product, Adagio Doc Store, is installed. Look for exciting new features coming to Adagio in the fall of 2017. On the Details tab, the grid now supports predefined colors for the different detail types, such as miscellaneous charges or comments. And Adagio inventory items are formatted with item filter styles if configured, or a specific completed status color. A new Update Pricing button will recalculate all prices for outstanding items on this order, including sale, special, or price list amounts. When editing an item, the Prices button has been replaced by a new, more comprehensive Item Inquiry button to the right of the Item Number field. Here, the pricing grid is now found, and you can also see any defined alternate items, historical sales for this item, and a new inquiry for outstanding sales orders or purchase orders with this item on it. Optional fields can now be set up for item details, which can be read from the inventory item, or entered manually or imported, and also sent to sales analysis. And for miscellaneous charges, you can now create an effective unlimited list, rather than be limited to 10 for each price list. Some substantial changes have been made to printing specification forms for ease of use. In previous versions, specifications could only be generated one method at a time – print, fax, email, or PDF. The process had to be run multiple times to send the forms by all desired methods. You can now pick the print or send methods with checkboxes, 
and click the Send Print button for all methods at once, either by the Customer Preferred Send Method or by every selected send method if the match option is disabled. Documents can be selected for printing in more flexible ways, by a predefined date range, and also by two more selection methods other than the document number. And you can print multiple duplicates of the same document from here. These print form options can also now be saved as favorite settings in the same way as reports. Choose from a desired favorite print configuration here, or use the favorite as part of a report set that can be printed with reports, or in a scheduled task unattended, or automated for Adagio console users with new commands for printing or sending the various types of forms. When printing specifications from the grid, you can now multi-select more than one transaction, consecutive or not. When printing, all the same options and settings for printing a range of documents are also available, including the selection of a favorite print configuration. For a more complete and detailed demonstration of the updates to printing forms, follow this link to the 9.3a print forms video. For companies with higher than average order volume, the limitation to invoice only one order at a time was very time consuming and cumbersome. Now a new feature to ship and invoice multiple orders at once is available. From the order entry menu, select auto invoice orders. Choose the orders to ship, by date and by other methods. The sort method sets the priority over which orders would be shipped first. Whether an item on an order is shipped is determined by a setting in the company profile, so that you can enforce only complete orders be shipped, or the full quantity of each item, or just ship what's available, or no quantity restriction at all. These settings do not apply for non-stock items or when Adagio inventory is not used. The invoice date for created invoices is set here, and an invoice will be created for every order that has at least one item with quantity shipped. If the company profile has the option enabled to direct print invoices after posting, then settings for printing forms are also shown here. Otherwise, only the order selection information is displayed. These settings will be saved if Remember Form Options is enabled in User Preferences, or can also be saved as a favorite. Auto-invoice orders can also be automated if Adagio console is used. Auto-invoicing is also available on the Enter Orders grid from a new Invoice button for one or more selected orders. From here, the same options for setting the invoice date and for direct printing invoices, if configured, can be chosen before generating invoices. Orders can also be selected for auto-invoicing from a new import process for the order list to invoice. This simple import allows creating a list of order numbers in a CSV or Excel file, as the only field available to import is the order number. Importing this file uses this list as the basis for selecting orders to ship, and otherwise follows all the same steps for determining which items will be shipped. And this import template can also be automated via Adagio Console. For a more complete and detailed demonstration of the new Auto Invoice feature, follow this link to the Auto Invoice Orders video. The Order Action Report has a tabular layout, and in this upgrade, Excel Direct Printing is supported to send the report results to an Excel spreadsheet. 
set up the Excel options for the name and location of the file. And when you click the Excel Direct button, the data will be in a table-based spreadsheet. The maximum width of the printed report is still 164 characters, but Excel Direct allows you to generate the report with more columns. In previous versions, keeping data for the sales summary, order log, and commission reports was hard to maintain, as you could not purge a portion of the file. Now, this data is stored with a date index, so that from the maintenance menu, you can access purge report log files to remove records older than or equal to a particular date by report so that you keep only pertinent information. Default number of days are set in the company profile, but could be changed here. The date indexes also allow both the sales and commission reports to be able to be printed for a specific date range in addition to previous selection criteria. Read the complete list of features and changes from the release notes. Watch another video on this Adagio program from the playlist. Or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.